We're going to be controversial here. We're going to make authentic guacamole. I know everybody's going to be like, that's not authentic. But chances are the origination of guacamole came from whatever was in the fridge. Added in with some avocados. Hey everybody, I'm Chef Dad, and this is my pulled pork tacos with my amazing Chef Dad guacamole. We're going to go in with some red onion. These are folded steel knives. They sent us our name engraved in, in our block, our magnetic block here. The affiliate link will be in the description down below, and I'll give you my coupon code, which is Chef Dad, which you can apply on your checkout for an additional 15% off. These things are also really nicely like they fit my hands really well but they also fit my wife's hands really well so red onions done look at this we got some tomatoes they are pre-seasoned and cut for many other meals that we've already had i'm just going to cut them up and leave them here and we'll add them in after we get the avocado cut up these are some spicy pickled Pickles. <laughs> Spicy pickled cucumbers. All right, we're going to start with that and see where our flavor profile kicks out. Go into our avocados. Careful. I am not suggesting doing it this way, especially with these knives, because you can cut right through there and cut your hand. Reminded me because I just felt the blade come through the the rind of the avocado. So let's try this fancy trick that I've never heard. Pushing the pit out through the back. That worked really well. Except I put a hole in my rind. All right, let's try it one more time without being an ogre and shoving our finger straight through it. Haha. -ha. Nice and up. Oh. It worked. Whoa. All right. Avocados are in. So mash it up as much as you want. I think I want a little bit chunky. Let's see how this is going to turn out. Looks colorful and festive. And always traditional lime juice. Lime, L-E-M-O-N. I didn't have any lime juice or limes. That's all right. And we've got some other acid from that pickle solution on the cucumbers. That's really good. But. We're gonna take it from really good to Chef Dad Amazing with some Chef Dad Smoked Salt and Chef Dad Smoked Garlic. No, I haven't smoked garlic yet, but that just gave me a good idea. Why not smoke my, myself some garlic? That is the most unique. Every chew you get this amplification of flavor. We're going to get set up for laying out all the tacos. We're going to pull our pulled pork over here and get everything ready to go. That is not enough oil. So my wonderful mother-in-law was kind enough to bring me some that she had because we weren't running back into town. So we're going to put just about that much in there. I'm going to turn this on to a medium high heat and let it go. And we're gonna come back over here. And we're gonna start, we're gonna lay out some of our tortillas and get some meat in them. So this is the pulled pork that we pulled last night. You can see the backs of, oh man, look at that. That's got some, that's flavor right there. That's straight up flavor. We're gonna be using the Pro Series that we got from Lowe's. We're gonna see how it does on some pork butts. One of the simplest barbecues you can do. We're set at 225, it's riding right at 220, so three, four hours, we should be able to wrap this up 
and get a really good pork butt out of it. Take them up to 205, whenever they're probe tender. Other one, drop it in here and go and shred some pork. I'd say that one's done. For sure. Pull it out. See how it sheds up. I'd say that's pretty good. Oh, it's hot, so hot. It's a lot of juice. It'll absorb all that juice. Check it for anything that we want to pull out. You don't want to eat that. That part of the pig is called the uh, aluminum. All right, so we're just gonna roll this around. This one right here has apple juice, pineapple juice, chef dead smoked salt. But all these juices down here, we're gonna let it sit in it. Let it absorb right back up into this. Oh, it's so hot. Thank you, Lowe's, for providing us with an amazing smoker. Pit Boss Pro Series. See how it's already sucking up all that juice? This is going to make a lot of meals right here. So all we're going to do is we're going to throw a lid on it for tonight and put it in the fridge. This is going to make us a lot of meals to come. So, in these tacos, just need about that much. And you can pull this more if you want. Break it down just a little bit. As you put them into the tacos, quite a few of them set up here. And then once we start frying these ones, we'll go ahead and we'll start doing another batch. Because it doesn't matter how many of these I make, it won't be enough. And I know I'll get some flack. Those aren't tacos. They're the crispy. Yes. Yes, they are tacos. Come through with a little bit of Chef Dad smoke salt. Now all we're waiting for is our oil to get up to temp, and then we'll start frying. Okay. Oil's up to temp, so we're going to go ahead and get these in there. You should use a good set of tongs. which I have sitting right over there. But once you get it, the bottom starting to set, you can spend as much time as you want trying to prop these open. You can make it easy for your, your guests or your children, or you can let them fall down like that and keep moving because we have a lot of tacos to go. If you don't want to use your hand, you can use your tongs like this. Just get it started. Okay, we're just going to let those go. And we can start prepping a few of these other ones. You don't want to burn those tacos, so you got to move pretty quick if you're going to be assembling and cooking at the same time. Flip them over. You're just looking for a nice golden on them. That was my oven let me know it got to 180 degrees because as after we pull these out of here we're going to put them right into the oven let them keep their crunchiness all right when you pull them out make sure you drain as much of that oil as you can 
Now we're going to continue on with the white flour tortillas. All right, six more in. Now we can prep six more. Yay! Pork can be kind of aggressive when you fry it sometimes, so be careful. 16, we got 20, 20 up here. And we've got six in the oven already. We've got six more that are just about done. And that is good for about an appetizer because these tacos are from the People got so mad last time they made crunchy tacos. Taco Bell can call what they've got in their restaurant tacos. And call these tacos. So it's well done. A lifetime of cooking tacos. Yes, sir. They're so worth it. They're so worth it. Let's put together our tacos. At least a few of them. Look, oh, just a couple. So we're gonna go in with some cheese. Now we're gonna go in with some of our guacamole. And then just a little touch of some sour cream. Pulled pork tacos with authentic chef dad guacamole. So here we go. There's like so much stuff going on here in a good way. Super simple. It really doesn't take you that long other than getting your pulled pork ready. That took a day. So I got to finish my taco. Thanks for watching. Check out one of my new videos.